powers that be. Um, but I think that the reality is, is that much like other rights that have been um, delineated by the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, um, you know, they're just words on paper. You know, unless people actually exercise those rights and stand up for them, and, and, and by the way, you know, is it the Bill of Rights that gives us those rights? You know, these are questions that I think people need to be asking, um, because if they're if if it's something that was given to you, you know, put on put on paper, is it really a right? You know, are these just privileges, or are, are these just something that um, we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel good? <laughs> you know, if we don't actually stand up for these rights, if we don't actually exercise them, uh, then are they rights? You know, are, or is it something different? And I, and I think that when you look at Professor Tracy's case, um, we're talking about a tenured academic uh, who has more rights uh, in an academic institution that is founded and literally, if you look at their, their bylaws, their, uh, you know, operating agreement, uh, this is embedded in, uh, you know, in the institutional framework. So, uh, you know, if anything, Professor Tracy had more rights than most people do um, when he's speaking uh, in his, you know, capacity as a private citizen on a matter of public concern. Uh, and of course, you have, in this case, uh, a, a clear uh, violation of, of, of his rights. And um, the way we see it, and I think anyone who actually looks at the evidence in this case, which most people don't, uh, they don't even want to look, they've already made up their minds, uh, it's pretty clear, and I, I think the, the term slam dunk is, um, is appropriate for uh, what FAU did. It was a, a pretextual, um, unconstitutional, um, violation of Professor Tracy's rights to fire him for not reporting his blog on a form that was for outside employment. Uh, this is certainly um, an issue that will be addressed, uh, hopefully, you know, on appeal. But uh, to make a very long story short, Professor Tracy should have won as a matter of law before it ever went to a jury on issues that the court refused to address. And this is one of many uh, problems with the, the Tracy case. Uh, we have a federal court that is helping FAU and, you know, literally changing the law. Um, and I think that, that that's what people should be most afraid of, that you have precedent being disregarded, you have uh, new precedent being created, and it's dangerous precedent. And it's precedent that will have a ripple effect, if not already having a ripple effect. Uh, when you think about what kind of an impact this case is having, I'm, I think you're probably already seeing a chilling effect. Of course, a chilling effect is hard to see because a chilling effect just means people aren't talking anymore. People aren't, you know, blogging. People aren't, uh, you know, doing things that they would do because they feel protected.